Little Lamal has no family, and everywhere she goes during her 17-day stretch across New York City, crowds shout, we are your family, to this larger-than-life puppet. In America, we have an immigrant background, and that we were supposed to, like, welcoming immigrants and we're as immigrants ourselves i just thought it was important it breaks the boundaries of uh culture language you know it makes it universal so they start understanding that uh, things like this create community and it's important for the world the high bridge garden cornerstone community center crossing the high bridge with little amal i think it's amazing it's super cute it's incredible it's helpful she's sweet <laughs> she's nice and feeling all of her emotions along the way. Here in the high bridge, as we've watched her, she's afraid of heights. All of the children were trying to help her get across by singing her song. At 12 feet, 5 inches tall, little Amal is a puppet of a 10-year-old refugee from Aleppo, Syria. So emotive, it moves many to tears. Her name means hope in Arabic. She's kind of a walking prayer. As she moves through, like, people often ask me, what is Amal made of? I'm always made of love. Yasmani Arboleta is the creative producer behind them all with a goal to educate people. More than half of all refugees are children under the age of 18. She's traveled through 12 countries and more than 5,000 miles since 2021. And when people greet her, they naturally reach out for a handshake, a hug, a kiss. But he's hoping they take time to reflect. How are we taking care of all of these people who are being displaced by violence, the war, climate change? In this moment, it is critical that we think about these questions, not just here in New York, but all over the world. The Lenzi family got the message. I am an immigrant to the country, and uh, we all know immigrants in our lives, and um, welcoming someone new to the United States just seems like a wonderful thing to do. Amala's been dancing through the streets for 55 events across the five boroughs. She'll be ending her 17-day tour here in New York City on October 2nd, providing the sounds for little Amal is the Harlem Black Theater along with the Solomon Choir. Her story, of course, represents so many of ours in New York City. In Harlem, I'm Calorama, PIX11 News.